Hey coin collectors and welcome to the Big D Coin Channel. This is DC from DC Coin doing another video for the Big D. Thanks for letting me use your uh, channel D to do this video. And thanks for help, all the help you give me over the years with my channel. It says Liberty at the top. It says 1979 at the bottom. It has a woman looking to the right and under her chin it says in God we trust. And this of course is the Susan B. Anthony $1 coin. One of the most mixed up coins in U.S. history, not because of Susan B., but because of the way that they set this up. If we look behind Susan B. Anthony, we see that uh, there is a P there. Also, some of the worst mint marks in U.S. history. So when you get your Susan B. dollars, look at the mint marks because they are all over the place. This is P for Philadelphia. This one came out in 1979. Of course, there was a P on it. It's not a blank. And of course, they put the mint mark behind um, the figurehead on the front of the coin, which I hadn't seen done before. And, but underneath her chin, we have an F and a G. And that, of course, is for Frank Gasparro, the engraver of this coin. And I know they didn't give Frank much to work with, but um, this coin uh, was not uh, that great in terms of success. People just did not want to use them. In 1979, when they came out with this coin, they came out with 360 million of the P, 288 million of the D, 109 million of the S coins. And so remember that the S coins aren't necessarily proof coins in 1979. Uh, they came out with 109, almost 110 million regular circulation coins. What, what do I mean by the FG and why do I call him Frank? Uh, because the FG down here is a engraver's initials. You might remember that FG from the Lincoln Memorial Penny, which is the FG there. Or you might remember that FG from the Apollo 11 reverse of the $1 coin. There's an FG for Frank Gasparro. And why did I say they didn't give Frank much to work with? Well, this is the back of the Eisenhower dollar from 1974. What they decided to do was to downsize the dollar, to put Susan B. Anthony on the front, but to leave the reverse the same. And it just um, kind of was a weird thing for U.S. coins to do. So what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at the eagle landing on the moon. Same thing down here. Uh, There's an FG for Frank Gasparro. Top it says United States of America. We have the 13 stars going around. Uh, we have the eagle. Um, and this, as I said, was a symbol of the um, Apollo 11 space mission. Um, this is this is was on their patches or badges. United States of America, E Pluribus Unum. There's the Earth right over the eagle's shoulder. The eagle is taking an olive branch to the moon, a sign of peace. It says one dollar at the bottom. Now you look around and you see these sides. And if you let's count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven sides on here. Why didn't the U.S. Um, dollar work? Um, well, the coin manufacturers weren't big on it, but then they they kind of pushed against it and they got the dollar they wanted. Um, but the consumers weren't interested in the dollars. Um, and which is funny because a couple of years later, Canada came out with the dollars. And I want to show you something that's really funny. See this design on the outside? As I said, the 11 sides. When you have 11 sides, um, you know we have hexagons and blah blah blah. Well, eleven sides is a hendecagonal. Well, guess what they did with the Canadian coin? They made it an eleven-sided coin too, but they made it eleven on the outside. So when you put this in your pocket, you could feel the difference between this and a quarter. This one, they made it smooth, uh, uh, round on the outside, but they have the same rim structures as a U.S. quarter. So what happens is, if you get a quarter in your pocket, I know they're different sizes, but if you kind of rub the edges of them. Um, you're going to get, oh, this must be a 64. Yeah, this is a silver one. Let me get one with uh, that looks a little bit more like this um, because of the copper, nickel-clad copper. So you see the, the same coloring. Um, if they're in your pocket and you, and, you, and you don't have two of them, sometimes you're going to mix these up. This one's a little wider. It's a little bigger, but because they put the rim on it, they didn't put a smooth rim because of some of the other things they did, which they fixed for the later coins like the Sacagawea, the Susan B. just didn't work. So there's 11 sides here. There's 11 sides here. If you put them in, you can actually fit them 
so they meet together. So there's that one, there's that one, move it up that one. Um, Canada did really, really well with what they called the loony. It's a beautiful coin. This is a 1988 version, kind of worn out by now. Why did they want to go to a dollar coin? What were they thinking of? Well, they've had dollar coins in the United States for a long, long time. Here's one of the, and they've had women on coins. I mean, they had, well, women in a kind of um, weird sense. I mean, not a woman that you'd know, but on the peace dollar, we had Lady Liberty, and there's a 1923 peace dollar, and there's Lady Liberty facing to the left. So there's a woman on a coin, but not a woman who was a real person. And so they wanted to have a woman on a coin. They wanted a real person, and we got her in the Susan B. Anthony coins. I said mixed up history. Well, what did they do? Well, they came out with it in 1979. Um, by really actually in 1979, they realized it wasn't working that well. They continued to make them in 79, 80, and 81. But by 1981, uh, they were only making about three and a half million of the coins. They were all proof coins. So the 1981 coins, they didn't put them into general circulation. In 1980, they only made about 100 million regular circulation of these coins. So first year they put them out, they put a, um, about three quarters of a billion out and people just didn't use them. The next year they said, well, we'll only put out about 100,000 uh, people didn't use them. The year after that, they only put out proof coins. And then they said, well, we're just not going to do it anymore because people aren't going to use them. They kept printing the paper dollars. Well, Guess what? In 1999, they decided, let's try it again. And so they put out another 40 million of the uh, Susan B. Anthony dollars, and they still didn't work. And that's when they gave up on the Susan B. Anthony dollars. Well, gave up, but they did have another coin that followed that with a woman on it. And you're probably very familiar with these. Here's the Sacagawea dollar. And let's get rid of uh, Eisenhower. And let's get the Sacagawea dollar. This is a, another a Philadelphia coin. Year 2000, Sacagawea dollar, Sacagawea liberty over her head. Same kind of design. And God we trust behind her in the date under her chin. So a little switch on there. A round coin. But see how this is a totally different colored coin. And so, um, and it's it's a heftier coin. On the back of the United States of America, we have the eagle, the pluribus unum, and the one dollar. This coin was a very successful coin in comparison um, but people still don't use it much. From the Sacagawea, they actually shifted over to a uh, another Sacagawea. Let me show you the back of this one. Uh, this is the Mohawk Woodworkers or Ironworkers coin. And this is, they actually have everything up on the rim. So this is a 2009, I think. And we can, what we do is we just look at the rim. Can we see that? All right, let me turn it over. We see that it's a D. I e pluribus unum. And let's see if we can find the date. It, this could take all day. Hopefully you got a little bit of time. There it is, 2006. Can you see that? It's not very really good focus, but 2006 right there. So this is the... Uh, a modern day Sacagawea dollar. And then of course they decided to do another kind of dollar. They said, let's put the old presidents on them. Let's get some men back on them that didn't help. That really hurt actually. I'd much rather have the Sacagawea or the Susan B than this really kind of weird, ugly um, portrait of George Washington on the front of these dollar coins. And again, on these ones, you need to look at the edge to figure out when they're from. And the back of them has a woman on it in its Lady Liberty from the Statue of Liberty. All right, so feel free to collect these Susan B's. Some of them are very, very valuable, um, especially the 1981s. Um, um, they could be worth between four and $20. Uh, the, the 1979s are only valuable if you have them uh, in uncirculator MS-65 or above condition. All right, that's all we have from Big D Coin Channel. And we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and put any comments you might have in the comments section.